head on. It's spooky season. <laughs> and in case you didn't know, my part of the world is filled with ghost stories and hauntings. Obviously, because we invented Halloween. Yes, you're welcome. So I have got an Irish ghost hunting trip story history episode for you to enjoy. Join us as we explore and look for ghosts in one of Northern Ireland's most haunted hotels, Dobbins Inn. Today we are in Carrickfergus and in the future videos we are also in Carrickfergus. The theme is Carrickfergus. <laughs> Carrickfergus town is said to take its name from Fergus Moore. Moore? Moore. Moore? Which translates to Fergus the Great, the legendary king of Dal Riata. According to one tale, his ship ran aground on a rock by the shore, which became known as Carrick Fergus. No, yeah. For her, for her, for her guess. Predating Belfast by many years, Carrick Fergus was once both larger and more prominent, and for a longer period of history than the current capital of Northern Ireland. Around the year 1200, we are going way back. A few decades after the construction of Carrickfergus Castle, the mysterious Dobbins Inn came to be. Reginald de Aubin, a Norman knight, was given an area of land right outside the castle walls. From the then residence of Carrickfergus Castle, Reginald built a tower house, D Dobbins Inn, on this gifted patch of land, which then remained in the possession of the family for hundreds of years. Back then, the house was obviously called like House of Diobin, but over time, the house became known as Dobbin. The family name became Dobbin. And for generations, the Dobbin family took high ranking, like official posts and members of Carrick Fergus. In the reign of King James I, during the plantation of Ulster, the Dobbin House was used as a shelter for Catholic priests. The priests of the area would go to Dobbin's house and hold secret masses on the property, exiting and entering through a little secret door window thing called a priest's hole. I think they could have came up with a better name than that. Like it could have been like a priest's trap door, but a priest's hole. Lord, oh God. Whoa! Oh no, that is actually kind of creepy. Yeah, you crawled through, right? <gasps> oh! You could, you, they would have. Can you like see right into it then? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was so cool. But I mean, that was probably what, 16 something? No, maybe 16, 17. Yeah. It's quite small, so it's only yeah. like one person fits in it. One well, at a time. As long as he got away, I'm sure So do you yeah. like, yeah. like climb up then? You go in and go up? Yeah. During its time, Dobbins Inn has previously served as a private residence, obviously, a bakery and as a barracks. And every change added a unique layer of history and cosmetic change. Today, it is a popular three-star inn with 15 ensuite bedrooms. It has a delicious restaurant and apparently you should try the steak, including one of Ireland's oldest bars and it is still frequented. Plus, the building is full of like historic uh, antiques and quirks. It's very cute. In the reception area, you can see the tiny little priest's hole, all very proudly lit up. There is night armor, beamed ceilings, paved hallways, stained glass, stuffed animals, and large open fires. However, the most interesting thing about Dobbins Inn is arguably the trapped souls. That allegedly still live there. According to customers and employees, tortured souls still wander Dobbins Inn hallways. And that is why we stayed at Dobbins Inn. Okay, so this first recording, um, we recorded at Dobbins Inn, but the file was corrupted. So please make sure to watch episode two. In the next episode, Jaren will be telling me and my friends, Kirsty and Toya, the dramatic Dobbins Inn affair. The affair. <gasps> oh, interesting. You're trying to tell a story, and then apparently somebody's angry that the story is being up, like not, not being stopped. told. As well as the many weird and funny <laughs> ghost encounters of all the inn's unique tales and seemingly endless history. 
nothing surpasses what occurred in the early 15th century. While the three of us sip on g and tea. <laughs> and then episode three, the ghost hunting. Okay, so I... The door quietly. Oh. Oh, perfect. <gasps> Make the EMF reader go up to red. Why is it red? Maud? Yes. Reginald Fergus. Like back there, those lights just turn on the hallway without us. Dun dun dun. Yep. This was short and sweet. Enjoy. The video should be here. Click it. Click to watch the video. Slan. Right there. I'm in soldier. Okay. You Franck. like? Franck. 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 Is he French? <laughs> French. French. Do not disrespect Buttoncalf. He's gonna come after you.